Hi guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we'll be talking about how we can make use of ChatGPT to write Postman test script and also run them in CI CD pipeline without writing even a single line of code. So basically all you need to have is the information on how the whole process works. And if you know the whole process, then all you have to do is to ask some prompt or questions with ChatGPT, and then you need to get the information out of it and then just apply that within your code and then you will see that the whole thing is going to work magically. So I'm going to show you how these things work. So basically you need to pass the API specification to ChatGPT to write the test script for Postman and once it is given it is going to generate the test code for you. All you have to do is copy that particular test which is generated by the ChatGPT paste it into your collections that you have got in Postman and then export the collection. If you have environment variable, export that as well and then run them in the CI CD pipeline where the application is actually deployed as you can see over here. Well, as that said, in a nutshell of this particular whole workflow is you need to ask three questions to ChatGPT. The one is generate test code, which is going to be for the Postman test script by giving the API specification and then run the Postman test script in a command line interface because you are essentially going to be running the test in the command line interface. So basically you need to also tell this information as well. So once you get this information, you then are going to be running this test on the CI CD pipeline using the command which is given to you, which is essentially Newman as we already know. So that is what we are going to be doing this particular video. But the only assumption that I have made in this particular video is you already have an application being deployed in the GitHub repo and it is also running the application in the Docker container. That is what is the only assumption that I have made so far in this particular video because I cannot really show you all those information like how that can be done. I mean, you can ask ChatGPT to do that as well, but that is going to overkill this particular video. So this is the application which I'm going to be talking about today, which is going to be basically a GraphQL application as well as it also has got a REST API in it. And you can see over here, it has got a post operation for the authentication to be generated. And all these endpoints that you are seeing over here, like the component products and everything are going to be working based on the authentication that you are going to supply. Basically, you require a bearer token header to be passed in for all these endpoints to make that happen. I mean, to make those endpoints to work as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole Swagger JSON file, as you can see over here. I'm not going to write even a single line of code as I promised. I'm going to copy all of them. I'm going to go to chat GPT over here and then I'm going to ask some series of questions. That is what I'm basically going to do. So basically what I'm going to do is if you just go to postman advanced uh, test script command something like this and then you'll end up to this particular place so let's say if i go this to this particular place where you can see that there is the test script examples available over here where you can see that for any given rest apis or any api that you have got you can verify a lot of things using postman test script itself like you can test the response body the status code the header cookies response time and also you can assert the response values against the variable value types array property object property so you can do a lot of different operations over here so i'm going to ask chat gpt to do all these operations for me i mean it won't generate everything for me at least but we can keep drilling down if we wanted to but i'm going to ask all these questions in one single line and i'm going to pass this api specification that i just showed you and we'll ask ChatGPT if that can be generated as a test code for us or not. So for doing that, I'm going to go to ChatGPT over here and then I'm going to paste the API spec along with my command that I was talking about, which is this command. You can see that I'm telling that create a postman test to assert header, status code, response body, cookie, response time, value type if applicable, array properties if applicable and object properties if applicable with the following test data uh, or maybe with the following uh, API specification. Yeah. And I have given this particular command over here and then I'm going to hit enter. So now I expect chat GPT to understand all these API specification for me, and then it should start writing the test code for me. So let's wait for chat GPT to start writing the code for us. And you can see that instantly it could recognize that there is a API slash authenticate slash login endpoint which you can do all these sort of verification. You can see that all you have to do is just copy paste this particular command in the postman test tab and then you are done. And while the code is being generated by chat GPT, I'm not really going to waste time there. I'm going to go to my API spec. I'm going to copy this particular URL and I'm going to open postman over here and I'm going to import this particular URL, which is 
this guy, like the whole collection, because I also need to add the test script, which ChatGPT can't really do it at the moment. I mean, you don't expect ChatGPT to do that as well for you. And you can see that I have the whole endpoints coming in, like the login endpoints. Let's go to this particular test tab over here. And let's try to add the uh, tests which are being generated by ChatGPT for us over here. So you can see that this is the code. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it over here. And you know what? The base URL, as you are seeing over here, it has to be given as well. And I have actually added that in my environment variable, uh, like auth URL and the base URL like that. So this is the auth URL, which has got the authentication URL uh, completely. So I can just go and replace this whole thing to just auth URL, something like this, so that it performs the authentication operation for me. Um, and then I'm gonna hit send over here. And you can see that now it has executed the uh, request for me. And also you can see that there is a test result tab in Postman, which is gonna help me show that these tests are being executed. So you can see that the status code is 200 and the response time is less than 500 milliseconds and the content type is present. And also it tries to perform some assertion, which unfortunately it has got failed there. This guy, I guess. And it's it has got some more additional functionality, which I have not really implemented. I think it has just written more generically over here. So probably I'm just gonna get rid of that alone. And then if I do a send, you can see that all the test has got passed. And similarly, I can keep drilling down for the rest of the uh, APIs as well. But I think it has did a small code generation for the get component by product ID. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to say continue for rest of the endpoints. So while that is going to do that, I'm going to go back here. And so the one it is generated is the get component by product ID, which is this one. Uh, I'm gonna go to the test over here. And I'm going to paste this guy. And let's say the component is gonna be one. And I guess everything is looking good. And the one thing which I actually need to do over here is I also need to add the header because you know in header we need to add the authentic authorization and then we also need to add the bearer and the token value because if we don't give that this request is going to fail so we need to do that and i'm going to save it and then i'm going to hit send and you will notice that the command is executed and we get a response back we also see there is a test being executed for us over here and again the same test which has got failed uh, i think it is like um a problem with chat GPT generating the same kind of uh, tests over there so I'm gonna get rid of that and you will notice that it is not only just performing a simple like status code uh, time verification like content type etc but it also verifies that if there is going to be a JSON data response coming up then you go and verify it has got a property like ID name description product ID and product in it I mean it is amazing right you get to test almost a lot of different operation using the command the tests which are being generated over here so you can see that now it is generating for the rest of them as well so i'm going to quickly copy all these things as well and i'll be doing all these things behind the scene and i'll be back once i copy paste all the test code from chat gpt all right so now i have made all the changes over here in the test script all i'm going to do it is i'm going to export this particular collection as well as the environment variable into a json file because that is how it is going to generate for us and then i'm going to add them into the github actions pipeline and then i'm going to run that but in order to do that you know what i don't really know how these things really work so i'm going to ask chat gpt to tell me how i can run how to run the above postman script in the command line so if i ask this now chat gpt is going to tell me like you need to use the tool called as new man and then it's going to give me all the information required to perform those operations you see that now it's telling me that i need to have a node.js and then i also need to perform the npm install hyphen g the global scope for the new man and then i need to perform the rest of the operation it also tells me that in the postman's click the three button there and then export the uh, the whole collection as well as uh, the uh, environment variable so environment variable is not given here oh there we go now ChatGPT is also telling me that the postman environment variable also you can export if you really require them 
well you know what that is what i really need so i'm gonna go over here and then i'm gonna export them into a separate file and then we will try to run them in the command line so i'm going to open my hyper terminal over here and you know what i have already installed the uh, new man so what i'm going to do it is i'm going to go to cd postman scripts and if i do an ls you will see that we have the collection.json and the environment.json which is the one which i just exported so i'm going to do this i'm going to say uh, new man run collection.json hyphen e and the environment.json so once i do that you will notice that it is going to run all the different tests that i just copy pasted over here and then it is running the test for me over here as you can see that i have not written even a single line of code and it is doing a lot of testing i know that i have not really did any data verification so far i can ask ChatGPT to do that but this video is going to be too elaborate but you already got the idea of how you can do it as well so all you have to do is just ask ChatGPT to use this test data for this particular uh, for this particular endpoint and then run it you can do that as well but i'm not gonna go that deep i'm gonna let you to do that but you already got the idea of how this is done so now we have this particular uh, collections as well as the environment variable all i'm gonna do right now is i'm going to copy these particular data into our code and then i'm gonna run that in the ci cd pipeline so i'm gonna go over here and then i'm gonna paste it to a folder the postman uh script and now i'm gonna go to the github desktop which i already have got over here and you will notice that there are so many different files coming up but the one which i'm going to be looking for is the postman script as you can see over here so i need to check in these two code so i'm going to uncheck all of them and i'm going to check these two code so i'm going to say added postman scripts i'm going to commit that changes to the main branch and then i'm going to push it that's it this is the only thing which i really wanted to do this time and once i do that and if i go back to my github which is this guy and if i try to refresh this particular repo you will see that i have a postman script which i just added now i wanted to run this postman script in the github ci cd pipeline which i don't know how to actually do it so what i'm going to do it is i'm going to ask chat gpt to tell me or write it for me as well so i'm going to say run the new man test in the github action ci cd workflow and hit enter so once you do that now chat gpt is going to go and understand what is our question and then it is telling me that hey there we go you need to create a dot github slash workflow directory which is written in the yaml file and it's also telling me that we need to create this github action workflow file and you can see that it is amazing it is telling me that this is the yaml file that i really have to use because as we already know that the new man is basically requiring us to install in a node.js so it's telling me that you need to first of all set up a node.js and then you need to install the new man and then you need to run this particular collection which is amazing so this is what i really really require to perform those operations this is exactly what i did in my local machine as well which i just showed you right so I'm going to do this. I'm going to not just barely copy that because I also need to run the application in the uh, in the side by side. So what I'm going to do it is I'm going to go to the actions and I'm going to the .NET ASP. So I'm going to choose that uh, and I'm going to you can see that we already have some information here like what I need to do. But the only change which I'm going to do in this particular uh, GitHub Actions workflow is going to be looking something like this. And I will tell you what I really mean about this only change I was talking about is that first of all, we need to check out our code. And then we also have a uh, Docker Compose file, which is going to run the application for us, which is nothing but the GraphQL API application service. So if I show within my application over here, you can see that we have a Docker Compose YAML file, which actually named as the graphql underscore api so this is the service which i wanted to execute and you can see that the port number is 5001 which has been exposed as well so this is exactly the application which i wanted to execute so that is why you can see that in the github actions i have just specified that we need to run the application the docker compose dot uh, yaml file and once it is done this is the exact same code that i just copy pasted from the ci cd code that i just asked from chat gpd 
I've just copy pasted that over here as well. And for the run API test, as you can see the heading, it's exactly the same thing. Just that I have changed instead of the postman under, uh, of slash my collection dot JSON, I changed it to uh, postman underscore script slash collection dot JSON and the postman script slash environment dot json that is it what that's what i have did but there is some other thing that you need to add like github action workspace again you need to have that information at least if not you can go and ask chat gpt like how you can get the current working directory something like that well that is something you have to do a bit more question asking there i mean once your pipeline fails you are going to obviously do that right so that's it now i'm going to go commit this whole change and we will let the ci cd pipeline to execute for us so let's see how this execution is going to happen so i'm going to go to any one of the uh, executions which is currently happening and you'll notice that our docker compose is executing at the moment and once the execution is done it is then going to perform the rest of the operation there we go you can see that the application is currently up and running the graphql application over here and it's setting up the node.js for us and then it is trying to install the new man and now it is also running the api test for us over here do you see that now our test has also executed here and it has also got passed as you can see there you go so you can see that all our tests has got passed and we have successfully completed executing our test in the ci cd pipeline and you will notice that now our build has got a check mark over here which means it is currently passing which is amazing so this is what i was talking about guys like this is how we can make use of chat gpt to keep asking some of the questions like just i have passed the api specification of the application and then we asked series of questions to write the postman test scripts for us over here and also we can keep digging down into asking more specific questions for that particular endpoint which i didn't really went there but we also then asked the question like how we can run this in the command line the whole postman test script and then i also asked like how we can run the same thing in the ci cd pipeline that's it now you can see that you have a ci cd based application along with the postman test script as well so every time your application is going to change, this postman test script is going to execute every single time in this GitHub CI CD pipeline. And you will notice that the test is going to pass or fail depending upon your application change, which is awesome, right? So this is what I was talking about, guys. This is how we can make use of ChatGPT to reduce our work as much as possible by using all these advanced power that we have got using ChatGPT. That's it, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Just let me know what you think about it. Talk to you in the next one. Thank you.